Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Justice R. Stone here today with Volume 3 in Satoshi Wagahara's light novel series, The Devil is a Part-Timer. Now, in this episode, the Devil's Castle, or the rundown apartment where Sada Mao lives, is visited by a toddler, a little baby girl, who announces that her daddy is the Devil King Satan, and that her mother, shockingly enough, is the hero, Emilia. Now, of course, Emmy and Mao have no idea what this is all about, and the rest of the book is basically them trying to figure out what's going on, deal with being pseudo-parents, and, of course, the fallout with all of the cast of characters that surround them. I've said in the first two books that I thought the strongest point about this series was the characters and the way that the characters relate to one another. Now, the real standout to me in this book isn't so much the interpersonal relationships as it is the character of Mao. Now, in book one, I kind of was like, you know, I almost wanted him to be more of an anti-hero. I kind of wanted the devil to be the devil. And I theorized that maybe there was a reason that he wasn't quite as evil as what he could have been. And this book actually goes a long way to giving us that backstory about Mao, about his formative years, and really gives sort of a push towards a bigger story. In volumes one and two, and certainly for the beginning of this book, we've had that sort of same story. Our characters are stuck in modern day Japan, threat comes from their old world, they deal with the threat, end of the story. It's a pretty similar setup, and I kind of worried that that same storyline was going to get boring as the series went on. And now in this book, we get this setup that there is something a lot bigger going on. There seems to be a far bigger conspiracy. There seems to be almost a, what should we say, um, something much grander in scale I don't want to give any spoilers, but Mao's backstory hints that there's actually a lot of machinations going on behind the scenes and that they've been going on for quite some time and that Mao might not be the only grand demon named Satan. There's a lot in this book and a lot of it is just dropped in little conversation pieces and in sort of characters discussing with one another. And what I enjoyed about this was that the demons, we've really just been shown the demons were evil. The demons invaded because they're evil. And this book actually goes to some lengths to creating almost a sense of sympathy for the demons. Not so much that it excuses what they did, but it actually gives some motivation to what they did. It gives some idea that there was more to it than them just being evil demons that drove them to invade Enta Isla and to attack the human world. And it gives you an idea of why Mao is the way he is and why he sees himself the way he does and why he's willing to sacrifice himself in so many situations for others. All in all, when you get to book three in a series, you really want to see that the series is going to be pushing forward rather than stagnating and rather than getting kind of tired and boring. And this, despite the fact that this is generally a pretty happy-go-lucky series and has been almost sort of my comic relief type series that's more just the laughing at how the characters interact and banter with one another, there is almost a deeper, more emotional core to this book than I think was even present in books one and two. And maybe that's because of this whole parenting aspect. I'm not too sure, but definitely Mao being fleshed out more as a character and his motivations and his backstory being given to us, and particularly the way that it's revealed in this book, I really enjoyed it. It really makes me hopeful that we're going to see sort of a slight twist on the way that this series has gone so far. Maybe it won't be just the monster of the week kind of thing, and there's going to be a bigger story to it. 
So all in all, book three of The Devil is a Part-Timer, still all the things that you loved about books one and two, but I think it has a lot more solid emotional center to it. I think it goes a long way to developing the characters even more so than the first two books and lays some great groundwork for future volumes. Really loved it, highly recommend it. So those are my thoughts on volume three of The Devil is a Part-Timer. Click on like because that's always amazing and subscribe to the channel so you can see all of my future light novel reviews including reviews of future volumes of The Devil is a Part-Timer. I will be back in next week, hopefully next week. Sometimes I run a little late but I try to be here every week. And the book that I'll be discussing then will be volume two of the light novel series of Black Bullet. I hope you'll join me but until then, bye bye for now.